What's going on everybody, Yvonne here. Now in this video, we're gonna cover step-by-step -step on how to build a high converting funnel inside of Go High Level. So whether you guys are selling a course, booking appointments, or even trying to capture leads, you can do it all within one platform. And that way, other variables that you may be using for your business are not gonna be disconnected from you guys' funnel. Other than that, I'm all ready, so let's go ahead and dive in into building you guys' very first funnel. Now before I start, I am gonna be sharing my screen here. So if you guys do wanna follow along or even try out the platform for yourself, there is gonna be a link down below in the description for a free trial the platform once you guys click on that link it's really easy all you got to do is press the 14 day free trial put you guys's company name so i'll just put test guys's first and last name and an email address so select which plan you guys want to trial either the starter or the limited for most of you guys are watching this video i highly recommend the starter just because it has majority of the features but if you guys care about the limited sub accounts then go with the limited plan Go ahead and enter your guys' payment information, check these three boxes, and you'll be ready to go. And if you guys are not happy with the platform or just don't like it, you can always cancel at no charge to you guys before the 14-day mark. Cool, now once you guys have gone through the process and answered a couple basic questions, this is going to be the user interface you guys are going to see. Now, if you guys have never used High Level, there's going to be two sets of features. There's going to be the agency features and the sub-account features. Essentially, the agency manages the different sub-accounts, so the sub-accounts are going to be relating to each individual business. So the funnels are going to live in the sub-account feature section. So to access that sub-account, what we need to do is click on the top left right over here, select the exact company, and boom, we're gonna be ready to go. All right, now from here, go to the site section, and as you can see, this is where the funnels are gonna live. Now, all we gotta do to get started is press a new funnel, and we have three different options here, from blank, funnel AI, or from templates. If you guys are brand new to this, have never built a funnel before, I highly suggest to use the funnel AI or from templates. The reason for that is because it's gonna save you guys a ton of time and you don't need to adjust every single detail. Now, when it comes to funnel AI, even though it may not be the exact final product you guys are hoping for, it's gonna give you guys a really strong foundation. So let me show you guys an example for all three of them. So if I go to funnel AI, I'm gonna press continue. The name of our business is gonna be Lasso Skincare. In the industry, let's do skincare clinic right? It kind of matches, but there's going to be a lot of other industries we can go ahead and select from. So let's go ahead and enter the actual name in and press next. Now, in this case, the goal of our funnel is to generate more leads and we want our content to feel friendly. However, you can always modify these two options. You can have the funnel be centered around getting more appointments, showcasing your services, or even selling products and services. And the content can feel friendly, professional, inspirational, conversational, humorous, sarcastic, or persuasive. Cool, so let's go ahead and generate this. All righty, now as you guys see here, it has generated an entire landing page for us. And if you guys wanna modify it further, everything is drag and drop and super easy to use. If you click on any body of text, you can easily modify it. And as you guys scroll down, you can easily modify the media, but everything's gonna depend on what you guys are clicking on. So for example, if I'm clicking this little blob here, you can modify the background color, the image, the alignment of it, the width, right, or where it's gonna be located with the margin and padding. But if you guys wanna add your own elements to it, all you guys gotta do is press add elements right over here, and there's gonna be a ton of different things to choose from, ranging from headlines to buttons to blog posts to media, or even custom code if you guys want that. Cool, so that's how that initial landing page is gonna look like, and it's gonna be the very first part of our process. Now, usually when it comes to funnels, right, the funnel's supposed to kind of go down, so there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna see your landing page, but what happens after? So usually when it comes to landing pages, and you probably have seen it on the last landing page that we just saw, there's gonna be a place where you can go ahead and click and enter you guys' information. Now keep in mind, they're not gonna enter their information just for fun. Majority of the time, that landing page needs to have something of value to offer. And that can be on the landing page or even before it. That value is gonna be crucial because remember, in this day and age, no one's gonna give their information for fun. And if you guys are not sure which specific version is working better, you can always add an A-B test as well. So what happens after, right? So after someone has filled out a form giving you information, what happens after that? So that's where the funnel gets a little bit more narrow and we can go ahead and add a step to it. The name for that page can be tests, right? We can go ahead and select a certain path for it or even import it from ClickFunnels. So let's go ahead and create a step here. Boom, now for the next step, we can either use something that's already existing or create it from scratch. Now, because this is a sample account, I currently don't have anything in the existing section, so we can always create one from scratch. Now, I'll show you guys what the ideal version would look like in a second, but let's go through some of the other features during this funnel option. Now, I'll go through like an ideal example of what that second page is gonna look like in a second, but first, let's cover other features that are gonna be in this funnel section. So when it comes to funnels, there's gonna be the different steps that we're gonna work with, stats, sales, security, events, or even settings. And right over here, you can see the overview, check out different products, or even play around with publishing. So when we go to stats, we can actually see all of our page views, all of our opt-in sales, earnings, and page views as well. And that way, we'll know exactly how they correlate with one another. And usually the page views are gonna be really high for our initial steps, right? Just because everybody looks at them, but our earnings are gonna be better in those later pages. And in addition to that, if you guys wanna go further, you can always see more under the hood when it comes to the sales side of things by clicking on sales, 
and you can see specific details when it comes to the customer, email, product name, transaction ID, amount, step, purchase date. Pretty much the whole customer journey here. And what I highly recommend for you guys as you're playing around with this is to check out the event section as well. Within the event section, essentially, we can send that tracking data to Meta. And that way, as you guys are paying for ads and are trying to optimize your guys' whole process, I'd make sure that your guys' pixel ID is attached to it as well. Because look, if you guys have a lot of disjointed systems that don't work with one another, that can be really bad news for you guys. Because essentially, that's the whole point of High Level's platform. In it, you literally have features for CRM, marketing, website, analytics, making blog posts, doing automations, everything under one hood. So because there's gonna be a lot of different steps in the funnels, you wanna add more automations to them and make sure that everything is synced with one another. I'll make sure I would also check out other features as well when it comes to high level, since everything is under one roof. But let's go back here and create another one. So let's go ahead and create one, but this time we're gonna create it from a template. So let's press continue, and let's just use this SaaS sales one as an example. Go ahead and select this one. Alrighty, now as you guys see, just like we had before, we have a fully developed landing page here. And boom, what do we see here? We see different CTAs, right? So the sign up button. And that way, this is gonna bring them to the next step. So let's go back here. So this is what I was talking about when it comes to that second step. So this is after someone has actually given you the information. So let's go ahead and press on it. And as you guys see here, it looks pretty nice. You can also modify it if you guys don't like it. But if you guys wanna create your own variation, you can always do it from scratch. It's just gonna take a lot longer. And here's what I mean by this. If I press on new funnels and I do it from scratch, I press test, we can either add a new step or import it as well from ClickFunnels. So let's go ahead and add a step here. We're gonna name it test. We're gonna create from blank. And boom, as you guys see here, we don't have like a ready to use landing page. We do have to build it from scratch. Now this is really good if you guys have used the platform before. However, if you guys are a beginner, I would suggest to use AI or templates. The reason for that is that it's gonna speed up your guys' process and you don't have to worry about very little details. But as I mentioned before, you can always create it from scratch. It just takes a while. There could be a pro for doing it yourself just because you'll know exactly how the system works from inside to out. Great, and once you guys have all your steps ready to go, I'd make sure that you guys test your guys' funnel at least just once to make sure that all the steps are working smoothly. And from there, the very last thing that I would do is go to the automation side of things, create a workflow, do one from scratch, and the way that workflows function is gonna be based on if-then statements. So if something happened, then X, Y, and Z is gonna follow. So in this case, someone can fill out a form within your guys' funnel that X, Y, and Z is gonna follow. And that X, Y, and Z can be a lot of different things. It can range from you guys sending login instructions to you trying to schedule a call with them to even sending an SMS or an email. So it would all work around a trigger. So the trigger would be someone actually completing a form within you guys' funnel. And then you can have a lot of different steps that follow that. So just press a plus and there's gonna be a ton of different steps ranging from creating contacts to finding contacts to sending data to doing something internally to workflows AI, doing things on appointments, opportunities, payments, marketing, you name it. What I would do to make this whole process much simpler, you just go to Workflow AI, tap in exactly what you guys are looking for. Like for example, based on this funnel that I just created, after someone signs up, right, or fills out their information, I want them to get an SMS, and then two days later, get an email, and then three days later, get something else. And then the AI system is gonna build it for you. So let's go back to workflows here. I have like a basic recipe here so you guys can kinda see what I'm talking about. And this is what I mean. There's gonna be that initial trigger, then X, Y, and Z is gonna follow, and then if something is true, then something's gonna happen, and if it's not true, there's gonna be a whole different things. And boom, just like that, your whole process is gonna be a lot more automated, and that way, nothing slips through the cracks. And there you folks have it, that's it. You've just built a fully functional funnel by yourself within high level. As you guys saw, the platform has a lot of features baked into it. It unites funnels with CRM, marketing, finance, analytics features, all under one roof. So if you guys do wanna try out the platform for yourself, there is gonna be a link down below in the description for a free trial of the platform. And if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.